Hey guys, today I wanted to quickly go over my theories and ideas for shopping when you're on the paleo diet and paleo groceries in general. I try and get a fresh batch of fruit and vegetables and all of my groceries probably two times a week. It would be better if I went more often, but two times a week is sort of the amount of amount of spare time I have to go out and go getting groceries. I find that if you go once a week, you'll end up eating fruit and vegetables that have been in your fridge or in your freezer for a week or more, and it won't be the healthiest um, it could be. Nutrients tend to degrade over time, and so the quicker it gets from the plant into your mouth, the better it is for you. It is really, really good if you can to go probably three times a week or maybe more and organize your meals around what you're buying so that you don't have leftover stuff sitting in the back of the fridge and getting gross and disgusting. In my previous video a few weeks ago now, I went through what was in my fridge and there were a few comments about how little there was in there and that's because I have such a quickly rotating um, series of things in there because I eat everything in the fridge and then go shopping and get more but pretty much twice a week. So there's never anything that's been in there for more than five or six days unless it's something that's non-perishable and keeps for a very long time, in which case it's probably in my pantry and not in my fridge. Uh, so I've just come back from getting groceries and I thought I would go through everything that I've bought for you guys and so that you can get a basic idea of how I do it. An important thing that I also want to add is I tend to do the non big box supermarket items first. I tend to go to the butcher and to the to my local health food organic shop and if the markets are on to the farmers markets before I go to the big box supermarket and that way I can get everything from there and then anything that wasn't in stock there I can then get from the supermarket and that means that with things like eggs if the farmers markets or the organic fresh food place don't have any eggs then I'll get them from the supermarket. Whereas if I'd have bought them from the supermarket and then gone to the fresh food place after that and found eggs there, it's too bad because I've already bought some. So I always tend to go there first. So today when I went out, I went to the butchers first and I picked up a bag of fresh sausages. These are 100% pork sausages. There's nothing else in them and they were in the fridge at the butchers and they're ready to go pretty much for dinner tonight or whatever. And that's the only meat that I bought today because I have some lamb and that sort of thing in the freezer from previous trips which I need to get into eating soon. Uh, after that I went to the health food shop and I bought a couple of things. I bought some uh, dried goji berries which I tend to snack on. They're very low in sugar so it's not as bad as having sultanas or raisins or that sort of thing and but as a result they're not quite as tasty but if you mix them in with sultanas or raisins then you kind of get the sweetness of one and the healthy antioxidant berries of the other so I bought a little 250 gram bag of those. I also grabbed this cocoa light which I've never had before. Uh, apparently it's dried uh, evaporated organic coconut water but powdered so you just add it to water and then you get coconut water so that's coconut water is really good for rehydrating you um, instead of those terrible energy drinks and that sort of thing I also grabbed some fresh avocados which I'm going to use in a recipe that I'm filming very soon and I grabbed some uh, eggs these aren't the ones that I normally buy but the supermarket uh, the sorry the health food shop was out of them so I bought them from the supermarket these are the fresh free-range eggs I don't get organic eggs from the supermarket because the brand of organic eggs that my supermarket stocks Pace Farm also does cage eggs and it also does um, like it does non-organic eggs free-range and then cage eggs and I can just imagine these little baby chickens like one going to the organic farm and then one going to the cage farm and then one going and I don't know I just don't like the idea of supporting a company that does uh, factory farming of eggs when I can support one that doesn't even though it's not organic so yeah. I also grabbed a whole lot of vegetables and a few fruits and herbs and spices as well from the supermarket so a couple of bananas, a couple of apples, a whole heap of tomatoes because I'm going to do a tomato lunch thing soon. I got some nectarines pears. I love pears and they're in season at the moment so I'm really excited about that. Um, capsicum, a little pumpkin, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, 
eggplant, mushrooms, little cute mushrooms, and I also got some basil, which is actually this part of the um, is actually like the root ball, so it's been uprooted the whole thing and then put in a bag, and then if you keep this bag moist, then they'll stay fresh for ages, so that's kind of cool. And then I also got some date and almond rolls, and these date and almond rolls are really, really nice. They're literally just little logs made out of um, dates with almond meal mixed in with them, and then almonds pressed on the outside. You can totally make these yourself, and it'll be way cheaper, but I'm lazy this week, so... <laughs> The other thing I bought is milk. Now, I try and avoid it as much as possible, but I do occasionally slip up. This is organic, unhomogenized full cream milk, and that's about as good as you can get in Australia without going and getting um, the Cleopatra's bath milk, which isn't available where I live at all, and costs about eight to nine dollars a litre sometimes. I've seen it cheaper, but I've seen it very expensive as well. And it's the raw milk, which is really the healthiest one that you can get with the best um, nutrient profile in it and the most antioxidants and everything whereas this has been heat treated but it's very difficult to find raw milk in Australia if you can get raw milk and you live overseas you're a very lucky person because we can't here and yeah so that's basically what I've gotten in my most recent shopping trip I have plans for most of these ingredients or at least like a vague idea oh you know I'll do a stir fry and I'll need this 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 and this I have some carrots in the fridge already otherwise I would definitely have bought some as well and yeah I think that that's pretty much the sort of thing that I buy. I try and take green bags with me every time I go, so like this, um, just to cut down on the amount of plastic. I don't wrap them in plastic when I pick them up off the shelves. I just put them straight into the green bag and then let the checkout lady deal with it. <laughs> and that's really cool because the only, the only packaging that I'm leaving the place with is like, you know, the occasional little thing and not bags and bags and bags of, of plastic, which I have no use for. So yeah. See you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.